You're watching Let the Quran Speak. Now we answer questions we've received from you, our viewers. If you have a question yourself, visit our website, QuranSpeaks.com. Okay, Dr. Shabir Ali, this is a question about a certain verse. It's from chapter 9, in verse 29. Um, and so the person is asking that a lot of people point out this verse because it seems to indicate that Islam permits Muslims to wage war against Christians. So the person wants to know, how would you respond to that allegation? Well, the first has to be understood within its context, uh, context in the page in which it is written, and context within the life example of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Like, how did he apply, and how did, how did it come to this? Well, uh, the ninth chapter of the Quran is one of the last chapters to, to be revealed. And this is after many years of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, trying to work with the community and, and to preach the message of Islam. But what that also involved is that uh, his people had driven him out of his hometown within about uh, 13 years of his preaching, and then he went to take up safe residence in another city, Medina, where there were Jewish and Christian communities uh, in, in interaction with him. Um, especially Jewish communities. Christian communities were also uh, more ubiquitous and, and interacted with him even in other contexts. Uh, but uh, here, uh, the, the, the beginning verses of the chapter, before we get to verse number 29, uh, speak about the pagans breaking their, their contractual obligations and uh, being out to fight Muslims. And so the Muslims needed to defend themselves uh, in, in, a, in a battle. And this is mentioned in the previous verses, uh, from verse 1 all the way down to verse 11. And, and then the, in a continuing discourse, the Muslims are addressed and told how to safeguard the community and how to uh, protect themselves against onsl the onslaught of wars from uh, many different factions and groups. Now uh, comes the, the, uh, the matter of dealing with uh, Jews and Christians in particular who are referred to as people of the book. And uh, whereas in the case of the pagans, the Muslims were given uh, total uh, permission to uh, confront the pagans in, in battle and to kill them off if necessary in battle, uh, the, the, the Jews and Christians were treated as a specific group and the Muslims were being told that uh, they can accept the the jizya, or, or a monetary sort of tribute, uh, from the Jews and Christians, and the Jews and Christians can survive as Muslim, as non, as non-Muslim minorities within a Muslim land. So that's what Surah 9, verse number 29 is about. So quite the contrary, it's not a verse that is saying that you can go out and fight Jews and Christians. Uh, it is saying that uh, the the ultimate uh, result of the fighting with with the pagans may be that you kill off the pagans uh, in in. in in the battle in which they are trying to kill you. But uh, in the case of Jews and Christians, you don't even have to go to war. You can uh, establish a covenant with them in which they pay a tribute to the governing Islamic State, just as people will pay taxes in any other context. But, but this is how it was done at that time. They would pay a tribute, and then they, their lives would be protected as uh, a protected uh, minority within the Muslim State. All right, thank you for that, Dr. Shabir Ali. You're welcome. That's all the time we have. Don't forget to visit our website, QuranSpeaks.com, and check out our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash QuranSpeaks. I'm Sophia Ali. For all of us here at Let the Quran Speak, thank you for watching. I'll see you next week.